Alrighty houses, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about structs. Now what the heck is a struct in Python? Well a struct is a way that you can actually take any type of data in Python whether it's numbers, letters, strings, whatever and you can convert it to bytes format. So first question is why would we ever want to do this? I mean it might be interesting to know how your computer stores memory or how it transfers data over the network but we really don't care about those ones and zeros most of the time so why are we learning this well I'm actually going to be making a new tutorial series about um, some network applications in Python and whenever you work with network applications you actually need to read the bytes value so you're on a network and you see all these ones and zeros coming across and you need to actually interpret it because humans can't read ones and zeros so we need to figure out a way to take all of that data that raw data and turn it into something that's readable for humans so that's why I'm going to be showing you how to use structs basically to turn ones and zeros into something that humans can read so the first thing that you need to do is go from struct import all and I'll show you guys how to pack and unpack and what all that means so the first thing I'm gonna do is just we're gonna have some data and I'll just have like three numbers like six uh, whatever 19 and some uh, float and we'll store it as bytes so store as bytes data and someone is texting me actually that's mail and it was an update for my Facebook page alright so how do we take data and actually convert it to bytes? Why would we want to do this? Well, say we're preparing to send some data across the network. Well, let's go ahead and make a variable and I'll just name it pack data. And what you need to do is you need to call a function called pack. Now, as you can see before I hit enter, this is gonna take two parameters. The first one is the format and the second one is gonna be a list of values. And it can either be just one value like a number or a letter or it can be you know a list like uh, you know ten different numbers so remember format and values alright so if you go to the Python documentation they'll say that what you store and they'll give you the um, the letter for what it is but say that we wanted to store two integers and a float some decimal point well the key um, letter for integers is I so if we wanted to store two of them just type I twice and then I'm also going to store a decimal point or float so I'm just going to write that now if I just wanted to store five integers then I'll just write I five times but let's go ahead and store two integers in a float so now with a comma separated this we just need to give it two integers in a float so I'll say like six uh, 19 and a float like 4.73 whatever and of course if you're using like strings or characters or anything like that then this is going to be different but basically whenever you have data such as this and you want to convert it to a byte format just write what type of data you're storing and then the data itself simple enough now if you actually just want to see this right now we can print it out and remember whenever I print this out it's going to print it out in byte format so this B right here it signifies bytes and now you see all of that stuff so slash x06 slash x00 all of that crap so again whenever you transfer data over the network that's what's actually being sent so that's why when a lot of people try to build like password sniffers and they start seeing all that they're like what the heck so now we know what's going on behind the scenes now I want to show you guys some other cool things before I show you guys how to take that byte data and actually convert it back into human readable form so this is going to come in handy later whenever we're learning about why we need to get a certain amount of bytes so check this out this calc size this is a built-in function that just tells you how many bytes are needed to store some value so let me just type i right there and let me just type something like uh, f and iif IIF alright so check this out so we're printing out the byte data we already saw that before and now I'm gonna print out the size needed to store an integer a float and our data which was two integers and a float alright so it says 4 4 12 
So whenever you're sending data across the network and you're sending an integer, it takes up four bytes. That's how much space or memory it takes up. Same thing with a the float, they're the same size, four bytes each. And whenever we try to calculate the size needed to store two integers in a float, it was 12. And that makes sense, four plus four plus four equals 12. So later on, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say get the first 12 bytes of this packet or something. And now you guys are like, oh, so that's why, because you know that's how much space it takes up. So easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl already. Now we need to figure out how to get this data, all this byte data, and convert it back into human readable form. Well, if pack was the function to make it byte data, unpack is the function to get it back to normal. So I'll say to get, uh, I don't know, data back to normal. Say to get byte data. All right, so I'll just name it original data. And what we need to do is we need to unpack it. Now, whenever you unpack it, you also need to give it the format. So it's gonna be looking at a bunch of bytes, which is actually this thing. And it's gonna say, okay, um, what do you want me to do? Like, are there integers in here? Are there characters? Are there strings? Are there floats? How do you want me to unpack it? And we said that there's actually two integers and a float in here. Now as a second parameter, you just give it that pack data right like that. And this is all your bytes data. So now whenever you run this, and we need to actually print it out, then check it out. All right, so all this was from before, and now we unpacked it and we got six, 19, and our float, which is 4.73, and some numbers on the end because computers are awesome at storing uh, decimal points, but we got a little um, extra values right there. So there you go. So another thing that I actually want to show you guys is this. If I just copy all of this byte data right here, remember this is basically 619 and 4.73 stored as bytes. You can actually just do this. Print, unpack, IIF, and put all your byte data right there. So this may be a little bit easier to visually see whenever you first start learning about this. So let me go ahead and run this and we get the same um, results right there because of course this variable is equal to this right there. But basically whenever you have to work with bytes or you need to have byte data and transfer it back into human readable form, then you can use pack and unpack from struct. So pretty easy stuff. There you go. I'll see you guys next time.